Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Kente Johannes with It's Necessary. Today is Friday. Today is going to be an amazing day. I know everybody's going to have an amazing day. You know why? Because it's your choice. So, um, yeah, stay focused, stay positive, and know that whatever, however your day goes is up to you. But um, at this time, can you guys please hit that subscribe button for me? Thank you very much. And I'm going to get right into what I want to talk to you about today. So I had a discussion with someone and um, this individual, you know, has been through a pretty traumatic life and um, they don't know my story. Well, maybe a little bit, but um, they started, you know, talking to me about their life and what they were, you know, what they're going through. I mean, I mean, just they were angry, extremely angry, you know, and, um, you know, just angry about everything. And so I asked the individual, I was like, well, you know, well, what is, what is your purpose? What are you, know, what are you here for? Well, you know, they were like, I don't know, because people just use me and people do this, that, and the other to me. And, um, you know, I'm not going to be that person that's going to be nice to everybody. And I was like, okay, so, but what is your purpose? Is your purpose to be here and, you know, just be angry and bitter and mean? Well, I don't know. I, you know, I was like, all right. So, um, so I told the individual, I, they were like, I'm always going through stuff and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, okay. I said, I get it. You know, I said, that's life. I said, but at, um, um, at the end of the day, you still need to know what you came here for. You still need to know what your purpose is. I said, so what is your purpose? And they were like, I don't know. You know, they're like, Kente, I don't know. And I, I said, all right, well, then that's something that you need to be working on instead of being worried about, you know, what you've uh, been through and, you know, how everybody's mean to you, how everybody uses you. I said, you need to know your purpose. I said, and then you figure, you try to figure that out, take your mind off of all that other clutter and try to figure that out. And um, they were like, well, um, um, why are you asking me this? You know, uh, what's your purpose? You know, they were there, <laughs> they were angry, a little angry. And um, I told them my purpose. And I said, hey, the individual was like, well, maybe I don't have a purpose you know, towards their self. And I said, no, I said, God doesn't do anything haphazardly. I said, God doesn't just say, okay, this is, um, um, you know, this, uh, this lady's going to get pregnant and this man and woman going to come together and, you know, she's going to get pregnant. And I'm just going to allow this baby to come here for nothing with nothing in them. I said, God doesn't do anything and leave it empty. And I said, but you have to do some soul searching, you know, go somewhere and get quiet. Think about, you know, what that is, what it is that that child in you, you know, um, always um, was leaned towards or was um, geared towards but um, or whatever was in your heart that you know the Lord kept nudging and pulling at you in this area you know just things that you enjoy you know and they were like well you know this person you know one of my family members said that you know I should be this and and people in the church said that I should be that and then different people say I have all these callings on my life and I said yeah I said but that doesn't negate you not knowing your purpose I said you need to know that doesn't negate what God has put in you just because other people are saying these things about you you're letting other people define you your your abuse that you, the abuse that you went through you allow that to define you your abandonment issues, you allow that to define you I said but now it's time for you and you and God to get together have some quiet time so that he can define you get in his word and allow his word to get in you and let that define you let that heal you you know god is a, a mender of broken hearts and this individual's heart is really broken and um but they're they're a, a great person amazing person but they don't know their purpose so they're angry at the world when they should be angry about not knowing what they were put here for so you know i just kind of encourage them a little bit to to you know just get to themselves and and figure out you know what their purpose is here what their purpose is you know and why they're here you know because all of us you know i've been hearing some other stuff in my you know some things that the lord's trying to get me to say but all of us he has a plan for all of us and then we know the thoughts that he has towards us and he says that we can do all things I said, but he also wants to heal us and so you know i just um, was telling the individual this and they were like, but I'm always going through. I said, well, you, I said, if we all say we want to be Christ, like we're all going to go through. I said, but your purpose that you have in your life, that's the reason you had to go through, you know, the things you went through and the way, you know, the road, the path 
that God allowed you to um, um, go through. That's, I'm sorry, that's the reason, you know, God allowed you to go to your through your path because he had a specific purpose for you. But now, because of your path or your past, you have to try to draw from those things and say, okay, this is what, you know, I needed to go through this for, you know. And I'm like, I'm not saying that the way that God heals this individual you know the way he heals him is going to be the same way he heals me it's it's not always you know that way but i know that god can heal god can let the individual know you know their purpose but um so what i guess i want to encourage you guys today is um, how i want to encourage you today is just know that the only person the only being that needs to define you is god and yourself and when God made us creative and God has blessed us to be able and um, to go through things, God has allowed us and he, he's chose us for the, um, um, the path that he's, he's put us on. He chose us for that. He chose us to maybe have to have to go through abandonment. That, that didn't sound right. Have to have. Well, anyways, um, he chose us to, you know, go through the things that we've been through because if not, we wouldn't be the amazing people that we are. Right. So, um, regardless of your path you guys I guess that's what I'm trying to say is regardless of your path um, know that there was purpose in your path and know that your path does not you know whatever it took for you to get here does not define actually who you are but it's God showing you what's in you because you made it you're still here all right so you guys stay motivated stay encouraged um, try to figure out your purpose get some quiet time and and get in your word and let that word get in you and let God just kind of break up that fallow ground, all right? So you guys be blessed and have an amazing day on purpose. It's Kente Johannes. And I hope you guys pull from this. Um, and uh, I'm out. <laughs> God bless you. God keep you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And I probably will talk about this again because this video is a little long. But anyways, God bless you guys. Please watch the video. Have an amazing day on purpose. Have an amazing weekend, Lord Jesus. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Lord God, cover them with your blood over the weekend, over their lifespan, oh God. Give them grace. Give them mercy. Father God, bless them in every facet of their life, oh God. We thank you. I praise you in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. You are highly favored of the Lord. Go in peace. Amen.